Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 5, and we've got some new information we're going to be going through. We've got some new photos as well, so there is a lot to break down in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first off, we're going to be talking about this new casting announcement, and it's massive. This is humongous, and although it's probably going to be a very small part in the actual episode of when these two people will actually appear, just teasing it very slightly, it's still massive. So this is how the casting announcement reads from the CW. So it says, a prominent CW show is looking for male or female newborn African American slash mixed babies to feature for actor rates. Tentative work date January 24th, twins preferred. But small newborn babies could be matched up with another baby. Must be at least 15 days old to work. Okay, so you may be like, why the hell is the CW trying to cast newborn babies? That's a bit weird, right? But it's actually bigger than that, because if you remember the comics and you remember everything of how, in regards to the Flash we're talking about, and I think the prominent CW show they're talking about is definitely the Flash, because that is the prominent show, that is the biggest one on the CW, and this makes the most sense. Considering if you look at Nora, she's mixed and Iris is mixed and so therefore if there were two newborn babies and they were from Iris and Barry, they would be mixed. So that makes sense. So anyway, we're talking about that and yeah, they're casting these babies in order to appear in presumably just one day. So just for one short scene or maybe they would do a few scenes. But yeah, so I think this is definitely... In regards to the tornado twins which is crazy and yes it's not older versions of themselves so you won't see you know these babies running around with speeds the powers or anything they will just be around just for this one episode and presumably it's the tornado twins and in the comics Barry and Iris have twins and they grow up to become the tornado twins they have super speed they have everything that their father has but they never grew up with their dad that's a massive thing in at least the more recent versions that I've read and so they become speedsters in occasion they sort of go rogue so with them actually casting mixed babies these two babies preferably being twins it's just screaming tornado twins all of it and so they said tentative work date January 24th so I'm not actually sure when this sort of announcement went out but maybe they shot it already or presumably they're actually going to be shooting in the next week or so but that should be appearing sometime very soon in at least one episode coming up very soon so if they get the right people they get those newborn babies in and they can shoot it because I guess that's kind of hard if their parents aren't like registered actors or anything but anyway so they will eventually get it it's the CW and so they specifically want to cast newborn babies so from this we can talk about some theories and in regards to if they are the tornado twins we're presuming one theory could be that there is a secret twin i think that's something that a lot of people have been sort of hinting at or leading at or theorizing about especially since the end of last season because we know in the comics dawn and dawn allen are the tornado twins and as you know on the tv show nora is their version of dawn allen and also reverse flash talked about oh this is your daughter so is she called dawn allen because essentially in the original timeline that's what he's hinting he had a daughter in the future and she was called dawn allen so that's pro that's definitely a hint to dawn allen is this the actual sort of secret twin with our version of dawn allen actually being called nora is there the secret twin that perhaps Nora never actually knew of? Like, is that something that Iris is hidden in the future? Maybe she goes to the future and visits it and visits it and she finds out about her past and her troubled family history. Maybe that's why Iris is so cold to her in places in the future. But another theory is this is just future babies. This is just Barry and maybe Iris going to the future and they are just looking and they visit and they see presumably in the hospital two newborn babies or maybe at home or something like that and it's presumably one of them's Nora and then one of them's another baby and maybe that'll be a mystery where this baby is and maybe how they actually grew up and if they ever actually grew up and 
went past sort of their childhood stage and so that will be very interesting but I'm guessing it has to link him with Nora somehow if it is the Tornado Twins because she is a version of Dawn after all. So maybe it is Nora and her brother in the future and then we have to find out what happened to Don Allen in the future. But another theory is timeline changes, so is this in fact, in this timeline, was there only supposed to be one child and that child is Nora, but with Nora's timeline changes, has she completely erased herself and she in her timeline changes via her time travel actually caused Barry and Iris to have twins in the future instead and is this actually Dawn and Don Allen rather than Nora and then Nora ceases to exist, maybe Nora fades out of existence. I think that's my favourite theory so far in regards to the timeline changes with Nora perhaps being erased because that's a big theory of mine going into the back half of the season and how she's going to end off the season because presumably she's not going to carry on very long, although I really do like her. I would like to see her stick around, because it seems like maybe we are losing Carlos Valdez. I think I'll have a video on that tomorrow, because there's been ramblings of news every now and again, and I want to, you know, get back on to talking about some of that, some of the rumours and some of the confirmations. So, what do you think of all this Tornado Twins stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you sure, like me, that this is the Tornado Twins? It's just blatant in my eyes right now. So, okay, we're going to move on and talk about the photos. So, there was photos for next week's episode, so the time loop episode, which is very exciting because I'm really looking forward to it. And let's break down these photos because they just got released today, I believe. So the first photo we see in CC Jitters is Carlos as Cisco and he is with the person he met last week. I totally forgot her name, but I think she's just going to link into what Iris is doing. Nothing too special about this photo. And in the next photo you see Ralph all tied up in this sort of, maybe it looks like a warehouse. It looks like it could be on the roof. I'm unsure right now, but he's all tied up. And the most interesting photo is this next photo, and you see Killer Frost lying on the ground, dead pan on the ground. And so this was the theory that I said in my video, and I guess some people probably do agree with me, but some people are like, oh, I don't know if they're all dead, you know, they're just tied up, like, maybe Nora's just trying to change it so they're not captured by Cicada, but no, I'm sure there is going to be deaths, and maybe it's Killer Frost every time, but I believe it's going to be different versions. I think every time someone's going to come along with her, maybe in just this instance in the photos, it's Killer Frost coming along with Nora to save Iris, but maybe in another version, maybe Caitlyn's actually locked up where Iris is and maybe Iris dies instead. I believe that's going to be happening. It's going to be a sort of Groundhog Day, Happy Death Day type thing that's going to be happening. And you can see Nora's just shocked. Like, that is definitely someone that has just seen someone die and you see her on the ground and that's just like no life in her and Iris is locked up she's chained up to the pole and same thing in the next photo as she's there presumably staring at Cicada and so presumably before this photo of Caitlyn actually lying dead on the ground you see this and you see Nora and her standing together as they presumably come to rescue everyone because we know Sherlock's there, Ralph's there and also Iris is there. I'm not sure about Barry so far but they are confronting them and this is presumably before Killer Frost gets, you know, killed. And so the next photo again of Killer Frost, I just have to say, I always have to say this, it's so exciting to see Killer Frost all the time because she's amazing. I love Caitlyn but I also love Killer Frost. And so she has this face of shock and this is most likely before she gets hit and Nora's just got this blank face sort of just looking at Cicada as he stares upon them. And you see Ralph and in the background it's Nora and Killer Frost again and so Ralph's tied up and it seems like they're just in conversation with Cicada or something like that. Again he's tied up as well, they're all tied up in this one place and in the final photo you see Cicada as he's in this same place and it does seem like it's perhaps on a rooftop I'm unsure as of right now but yeah he's going to be killing these people is going to be going on a time loop Nora's going to be trying to rewind time 
and she's going to be reversing time, going back in time to try and stop it. And I believe the timeline will, you know, alter every ever so slightly every time. So maybe a different person dies, a different person survives, and so on. I think that's definitely, as far as I know, what is actually going on. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.